I just wanted to share the results from the toxin screen, environmental toxin screen that I received, and I did it for my daughter who is three years old. <clears throat> that is the second follow up screen. Um, the first one was done in June, and I see lots of improvements. Some markers got worse a little bit, but we worked hard to improve them. So we're gonna work on on more detox support. <clears throat> that apparently it needs to be included into your everyday life basically because you cannot like one of my subscribers said you cannot just live in the bubble because if you live in the bubble then you're going to be still subjected to the plastic so which i agree with um so you can see that the first component is in in the red and it's usually from the <clears throat> from the gasoline exhaust so i believe in gilbert it's really hard to avoid any highway or any busy road in gilbert or in general in arizona unless you live like really really far from the civilization somewhere next to the mountain um so the second one thankfully was low um apparently i use <clears throat> clean best products for her and of course she's not using any cosmetics or perfumes and i don't use them either uh, I cannot tolerate any, any perfumes anymore. Um, so we are not cons I'm not concerned about that. Xylene. So xylene is also is profound in a lot of um, <clears throat> clients that I test, test positive for that. It's one of the uh, products that um, comes with painting of the house or any type of painting. The paint um, causes... Mm, it, it evaporates and... Um, produces xylene so this is one thing that we uh, want to avoid if you paint try to find the hypoallergenic paint or like low low toxin paint and also um air out the premises a lot or maybe even live for a couple of weeks but definitely you still have to maintain circulation and open windows and and try to avoid the the exposure to xylene or paint fumes the force marking is styrene and guess what um i s really don't know where we get it from in this um why her marker is high <clears throat> i'm gonna look well car exhaust fumes is one of them but another thing that i see a lot of people pick up takeouts uh, takeouts are usually in the um, white containers or even pizza pizza boxes are treated inside with a special compound that prevents the uh, pizza from corroding the car, car, carton box, right? Because otherwise it will just fall apart and also makes it stay hot longer. So the pizza boxes and the white... Um, <clears throat> white cups, if you drink from, you know, styrofoam cups that you use, never never put hot water in it or hot coffee never reheat them in the microwave that's um and also try to eliminate the takeout as much as possible and i'm i'm almost <laughs> getting paranoid as to bring my own dishes to pick up the takeout from my favorite rest thai restaurant which we sometimes pick out uh take out from then benzene okay that was good acrylon tried was good perchlorate so the last time i checked for her the perchlorate was in the hundreds percentile it was right in the red marker <clears throat> so what's the problem was that perchlorate destroys the thyroid function it also replaces iodine and thyroid um, tissue so it basically can cause hyperthyroid lead to uh, th hypothyroidism later in life it also has a lot of other side effects as you can tell the pro issue was our high perchlorate was that um i wasn't sure where it was coming from so the test for first test was done in june and it was in red now it's 75th percentile so it's much better definitely we don't have rocket fuel we don't have fireworks at home flares or explosives i don't use bleach so our water is um reverse osmosis water treatment system so we always use that type of water i tested it for all kinds of heavy metals through doctor's data it was clean i haven't tested it through um <clears throat> special lab that tests for perchlorate but it's it's really good that it, the marker is getting down but the other thing that i found out that many food sources like as it says here are also con contaminated with perchlorate and the issue was that is um 
uh, that apparently some um, some grain that is stored in plastic bags is treated for, with perchlorate, like quinoa, for example, and they, they don't have to disclose it on the package. It's treated with perchlorate to to avoid staticking of quinoa. 